The movie begins with Pete, a five years old boy, on a road trip with his parents. Pete reads from his book and his parents try to guess what he is reading. Unfortunately, they end up in a car crash while trying to dodge a deer on the road. Pete's parents are dead instantly, but somehow Pete manages to survive. When he gets out of the car, he gets chased into the forest by a pack of wolves. He is surrounded by the wolves and has nowhere else to run. Then a loud noise is heard in the forest and this scares the wolves away. A very large dragon with green fur and yellow eyes appears and moves toward Pete. Pete is scared, but the dragon makes a goodwill gesture to him by giving him his bag. The dragon then stretches its hand forward and Pete climbs its hand. Then the dragon takes off with Pete and flies away. Six years later, an old man tells the story of his encounter with the dragon to a group of little kids. He says that he met the dragon in the woods. And his daughter Grace, who is a police officer, comes out of the house and tells the kids that she is always in the woods and has never seen a dragon before. He tells her that just because she doesn't see something, doesn't mean that it isn't there. She leaves the house telling them that she is going to the woods. Pete is then shown running after a rabbit. When he finally catches it, a bear comes from behind him and roars at him. Pete roars back at it and the green dragon pops its head out from the woods. The bear sees the dragon and runs away. Pete then sees the dragon and calls out its name, Elliot, which he gave to the dragon. Pete and Elliot play around the forest, and it is shown that Elliot can turn invisible. The next day, while Pete and Elliot walk around the forest, they see Grace passing, and Elliot turns invisible. Pete follows her, where she drops her bag and picks up a blue spray, to spray over a red mark on a tree. While she sprays, Pete runs and takes something from her bag. She hears some movement, but she thought it was from her partner, who called out to her for them to leave. When they leave, Elliot moves close to Pete and sneezes on him. As Pete falls, the item he took accidentally opens revealing a picture in the compass. The next morning, Pete wakes up to hear the noise of workers in the forest as they cut down trees. Pete leaves Elliot, still sleeping, and goes toward their location to watch them from afar off. He sees Grace arriving at the location with a man named Jack and his daughter in a car. While Grace and Jack talk to each other, Natalie, Jack's daughter, tells them that she has to go to school, but they could not hear her. She comes out of the car and looks at the area, sees Pete from a distance, and he runs away. She follows him and tries to tell him to wait, but he doesn't stop. Pete climbs a tree to get away from her, but she also climbs with him. But while she climbs the tree, she slips and falls, and Pete tries to save her. He manages to catch her, but she still falls and injures her knee. The workers heard her scream, so they all run towards where she is. Natalie asks Pete what his name is, and how old he is. Pete tells her he is five years old, but she says that he is pretty big to be five years. As she tells him her name, the workers get to where they are, and ask Natalie what happened. She tells them that she fell out of a tree, while she was following Pete. Grace tries to ask him some questions, and she sees her compass on his neck. Pete runs away, and they try to get a hold of him. He falls while climbing a tree, and hits his head. When Elliot wakes up, he tries to look for Pete, but he comes close to where the workers are working. He mistakenly falls on a tree, alerting the workers that something is out there. Gavin, one of the workers picks up his gun, and tells the rest of the crew, let's go hunting. Pete wakes up in the hospital, and looks through the window in the hallway. He sees Grace and some other people discussing, how he got out there. Natalie goes to Pete's room to check on him, but doesn't find him there. And she alerts Grace and the others. Pete runs around the town, trying to get back to the forest. While running, a dog barks at him, but he scares the dog off. He's later found by Grace and some other police officers. Meanwhile, Gavin and some workers move around in the bush and find a very large footprint, while Grace and Natalie take Pete to their house in a car. When they get there, Pete attempts to run away. He tells Grace that he wants to go home, but Grace tells him that she will take him home tomorrow if he stays with them. She also explains to him that she vowed to take care of everything in the woods, including him. Pete asks if she'll also take care of Elliot too, and she asks him who Elliot is. But before Pete replies, Jack comes out of the house and calls their attention. That night, Natalie shows Pete how to eat his sandwich. Gavin and his crew approach a big tree with a cave underneath it. He enters the cave and finds a book. As he shows the book to the other workers, Elliot gets angry and attacks them. He pursues them till they get to their car. Gavin tries to shoot the dragon, but his gun gets ruined by Elliot. Elliot sneezes on Gavin before Gavin gets into the car and drives away. 
On the other hand, Grace and Natalie help Pete to settle in, as they show him some things. Elliot flies around the town trying to find Pete. While Grace tries to ask Pete who Elliot is, she receives a call from the head of police, and he tells her that Pete has been missing for six years. After his parents died in an accident, Natalie asks Pete if Elliot is his imaginary friend, and Pete replies that he is real. Elliot flies over to the hospital looking for Pete. He sees Gavin's car and decides to follow him. Pete draws what Elliot looks like and shows it to Natalie, and she tells him that Elliot looks like a dragon. Grace comes into the room and tells Natalie that she needs to talk to Pete alone. Grace asks him if he remembers how he got to the woods, and he tells her that he and his parents were going on a trip. He asks him who Elliot is, and he shows her his drawing. Pete tells her that she would see him tomorrow, since she is taking him back to the woods. Gavin goes to Jack's place, and tells him that the story that Grace's father used to tell them was true, and that he just saw a dragon. Jack finds it hard to believe him, and Gavin leaves angrily. Elliot finds his way to Jack's place, and he looks through the window, and sees Pete happy. He gets sad, and returns back to the cave. At that night, Grace goes back home, and asks her father what he actually saw when he met the dragon. He tells her that he was out hunting, he saw a dragon and tried to shoot it. But he felt something like magic, and lowered his gun. He said he looked at the dragon, and it stared back at him, before disappearing into the woods. Grace tells him that she knows the woods well, and she couldn't have missed a dragon. But Meacham tells her that she missed Pete. The next morning, Grace goes over to pick up Pete and Natalie, as they go to the woods. Grace tells Pete that her dad will be accompanying them. When Jack gets to work, he sees a note from Gavin, telling him that he is going hunting. Pete leads them to the cave, and goes into it to meet Elliot. Jack also arrives in the woods, and tries to look for them. Pete comes back out with the dragon. Natalie, Grace and Meacham are all stunned. As Natalie pats Elliot, Gavin shoots it with a tranquilizer. As he and his crew try to capture the dragon, Jack hears noises and runs towards that location. Elliot tries to escape, but gets very weak due to the tranquilizer's shot at him. And he falls down, destroying the cave where they stay. Pete gets very sad, and goes to pat the dragon. Jack arrives and is very surprised, to see that the dragon is real. He and his crew take the dragon back to the town's sawmill, and they put the dragon inside a building. Meacham then asks Gavin what he's going to do with the dragon, and Gavin says he has no idea yet. Jack and Grace enter the building, and as Grace pats the dragon, its fur glowed. As the police arrive at the sawmill, Natalie and Pete manage to sneak into the building. Jack and Gavin try to brief the police on what is inside the building, and while they are at it, Natalie locks the door from inside. Pete unchains the dragon and tells him to fly away. Gavin tries to open the door, but when he finally does, he doesn't see the dragon there. The sheriff asks him what they are looking for, and Gavin tells him that it got out through the open roof. He then asks what it is, Gavin and Jack tell him it is a dragon, but he refuses to believe them. Meanwhile, the dragon is still in there, but turned invisible. And Grace saw it, so she went outside, to tell Jack. Pete and Natalie look for a way to escape with Elliot, when Meacham offers to drive the truck for them. He turns on the engine, and drives out through the walls of the building. Gavin yells at the workers to follow the dragon. And as he tries to run, Grace grabs his keys and throws it away, in order to slow him down. They all chase down the truck, and Pete tells Elliot to fly. Elliot attempts to fly, but falls back down. And in the process, the brake of the truck fails. Gavin drives fast and reaches the truck, and tells Meacham to pull over, but Meacham refuses. Gavin speeds up and parks the car far ahead, and stands in front of the car, hoping that Meacham will stop the truck. Meacham indeed tries to stop the truck, but the brakes don't work and he hits Gavin's car. But Gavin and the others were able to jump out of the way. When the truck finally stops, Elliot sees Jack's car approaching them. He gets annoyed and runs towards them, and breathes fire on the floor of the bridge. And Pete runs to tell Elliot to stop. When he stops, Gavin runs to help Jack and Grace who are both inside the car. But the bridge starts to collapse, and the car starts to fall. Elliot then rushes to stop the car from falling, but the bridge still collapses. Jack, Grace, and Elliot all fall down the bridge. But Elliot flies back up with Grace and Jack on its back. When Elliot drops them, Pete hops on Elliot's back and they fly away. Grace tries to stop him from going, but to no avail. When Elliot and Pete get to the cave, Pete tells him they can't stay there. 
Elliot shows Pete a page in his book where he should be with family. Pete tells him that he doesn't want to leave him, and then hugs him. Grace and Natalie go back home sad, but when they get home, they meet Pete waiting for them. In the ending scene, Natalie and Pete go on a road trip looking for Elliot, and they find him with a new family. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video.